Hey, happy holidays, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a Robinhood app of your own using Alpaca, which is a free, commission-free trading API. And we're also gonna use React Native, which lets you build cross-platform uh, mobile apps for both iOS and Android using React. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that I found there's a lot of demand for these types of financial videos that I'm making that involve financial data APIs. So I went ahead and made a new mailing list. So I registered a domain, domain financehacks.tv. You can type that in. And if you go there, uh, it'll redirect you and you can enter your email address if you wanna receive uh, content like this in the future. What I'm gonna do is aggregate a lot of the co best content around automated trading, financial data APIs, that sort of thing, and then curate that into like a weekly sort of list. Um, and one of my big goals for 2020 is to start a community both online and in person and maybe meet up and start uh, writing some of this code together. Uh, so there's that. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I mentioned that we're gonna learn how to build our own Robinhood, and I got that idea just because uh, Alpaca, which I previously made a video about, recently landed some funding, uh, it, and the TechCrunch article says, Alpaca nabs uh, $6 million so that anyone can build a Robinhood. So I wanted to show, how do you actually do that? How would I go about building a Robinhood? Is that possible? So uh, that's what we're gonna find out today, and so let's get started with a design. So today I'm gonna to start out a little bit differently. I have an iPad here, which is hooked up to my new MacBook, and that's using a feature called Sidecar, I believe. And I have a pencil, and I'm gonna do a quick design of what this app is gonna look like. Uh, it's gonna be just a napkin sketch, but I should be able to mirror my screen and, and show you what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna, I have Pixelmator up here, and I'm just gonna draw some screens real quick, and we're just gonna sketch out uh, what our application is gonna look like. Uh, so I'm thinking our application is going to have uh, a screen with four tabs. And so we're going to put these tabs on the bottom using React Native. Uh, I'm going to have some kind of dashboard. Dashboard right here. Uh, I'm going to have some kind of uh, activity. So like use some kind of pulse icon and do activity. So you can see all the transactions I've made. And then we're gonna have a search, so you can search for a particular uh, stock ticker. Okay, and then we're gonna have some kind of settings. Right, so we'll have some kind of settings. And when you click each of these tabs, it's gonna load a different uh, screen that's designed with a React Native class. So let's say, let's see what's gonna go on the dashboard. So what would, would we wanna see normally on the dashboard? Well, I wanna see an overview of my account. So I'll probably show like my account balance and then some kind of portfolio value, and then like the amount of cash I have. And I'll probably show the value of the stock indices. So I'll do some kind of scoreboard here uh, where I show the Dow Jones, S&P 500, uh, the Qs, so the NASDAQ, and then uh, we'll also show the Russell 2000, okay? So I'm gonna show values for the overall markets, and then I'm gonna show a list of my currently open uh, positions and then I'll show those there so if I had Apple um, and Microsoft maybe I have a hundred shares thousand shares of Microsoft and then I'm gonna show some overall values there of what those positions are worth so yeah that's an ugly sketch um, but we're gonna be able to turn that into something so we're gonna retrieve this data using Alpaca's accounts API and then this uh, index data, there's some data API, and we're either gonna use Alpaca or IEX Cloud for this to get quotes on these uh, stock tickers. And then for positions, Alpaca has a uh, positions API. Right? And so we're gonna dig into the documentation and figure out how to do that. So if you watched my first Alpaca video, I showed you how to buy Microsoft and Apple stock using a Python script. And as you can see, we still have this paper trading account with these positions open. We never sold them. And looks like it would have been a good idea. We have Microsoft and Apple here up nicely the last few months. Uh, so how do we actually get this data from our unique Alpaca account and bring it into a React Native mobile application? Well, if you click documentation here, um, you'll go to this page and you can look at the Alpaca docs. 
Uh, we, with each account, you get an API key. And so we're going to enter this API key into our React Native application. And that's going to allow us to retrieve information that's specific to our account. Now, if you look at the Web API documentation, uh, you'll get these endpoints. And what we're going to do is write JavaScript code this time uh, to wrap around these endpoints and pull information about our accounts. So for the dashboard specifically, we're going to use this account endpoint. And we're also going to use this positions endpoint to get information about our overall account balance and then information about unique positions that we own like Apple and Microsoft. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a React Native app and get it up and running. Uh, we're going to install some node packages and set up Android Studio and a virtual device so that we can run this nice emulator and see our application in action. Uh, and then we're going to start wiring it up to the Alpaca endpoints. So uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.